Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day off with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to begin today's show by featuring a sixth generation a native Key Wester who spent his entire life refining his artistic skills. He's the creator of these beautiful homes that you can see behind me. They are miniature local homes and historical landmarks. Now, he also has a passion for the preservation of old Key West, so each one of these homes they're created with limited historical material. They are all uniquely original, and they are all a taste of Key West history. Ronnie, thank you for being on the show with me Thank today. you for having me. <laughs> well, My it pleasure. is great having you here, Ronnie, because I am a huge fan of your work. Thank it's you very beautiful. much. Beautiful. Now, Ronnie, I understand that you have spent a lot of your life working on real-life homes. Yes, actually, I've uh, been a self-employed carpenter for 33 years, mm -hmm. and uh, a roofer also. Okay, so is this how kind of the homes well, then got started? Growing up, my father, he, um, my father was a roofer, and that was the first trade that I learned. And um, out of high school, then I uh, started also doing carpentry, uh, restoring the old homes. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what I've been doing for the past 33 years. Mm -hmm. So, and now my art has come along in the past six years, and um, that's pretty much what I want to do mm -hmm. if I can all the time. But. I still do my jobs on the street. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But these homes, Ronnie, that you create, they are so beautiful and they are so detailed. It's like the homes, the old homes come to life. Yeah. Well, you know, the wood that I use on my pieces are salvage wood from the old houses and the patina that's on there, Mother Nature uh, has created in the past hundred years. So that's how I'm able to bring Old Town to life in my artwork. Mm -hmm. Now you have a passion for the preservation of Old Town Key West, Ronnie. How many changes, or I shouldn't ask how many because I'm sure there's so many, but what are some of the major changes that you've seen happen? Oh gosh, you know it's changed a lot, but it's still, it's still a great town. You know, there's a lot of Key Westers still here, uh, a lot of family, and um, you know there's a lot of uh, uh, fishing laws that have changed, you know, that, uh, that have uh, changed on the island, and of course uh, the, the growth, you know, the buildings, the new buildings going up, but and it's a lot busier too, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah. So you want to you want to bring back the old Key West, so through your homes, right, Ronnie? Yes, mm -hmm. and it's uh, you know my art is truly a piece of Key West. You know, being all the materials from uh, my my art come from salvage from the old houses, even down to my chickens. I make out of uh, the same wood, you know. And so. these chickens are so tiny. I have no idea how you can create those. Ronnie. Well, you know, when I first started making my art. Uh, my wife had told me, she says, you need to make a chicken. And I thought, how am I going to make a chicken? You know, so <laughs> evidently I was able to work it out, but <laughs> it, it was a challenge. And mm -hmm. um, every one of them is a little bit different mm -hmm. in its own way. So They are. They are. Each one is uniquely original, yeah. Ronnie. How long does it take you to create um, one of them? A piece like this one here takes me uh, pretty close to a month um, mm -hmm. when I first started doing it. I'm cutting it uh, a little bit fa uh, faster now. Mm -hmm. But um, when I go to do my art, I'll build the house first and then the little whimsical details come in later on. I don't even think about it until the, the actual house part is done, you know, and then mm -hmm. I start to think about, okay, okay, what can I put on the uh, the porches to kind of add some life to it, you know, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, the smaller ones take pretty close to a month. To a month. Yeah. Now, are the homes that you create, Ronnie, are they special to you or are they just some random houses? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. They're special. You know, uh, when I go to do a a piece of art I'll ride through Old Town and I look at the buildings and and sometimes I'll circle the block and I'll, I'll see one that really catches my eye and it just draws me in and it's like I have to do this mm -hmm. you know I can't do anything else when I start one I work on one and and see it through and then um, and then I look for the next one you know mm -hmm. so and it's something that once I start it that's all I think about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at night when I lay down to go to sleep I think about my art and mm -hmm. sometimes I uh, I work on my art. My wife will tell me, she says, oh, you were talking in your sleep last night. You were, you were working on your art. So. <laughs> That's great. So, so they definitely mean so it's, much. It's a passion. It's, it really captures me and uh, kind of just pulls me in. I, I never thought I'd be doing artwork. You know, mm -hmm. I've been a, a carpenter in uh, construction all my life. And six years ago, my art uh, was born. And I, I never knew I could do it. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when I first made one, I had uh, showed my wife and said, look what I've done. And she says, I didn't know you could do that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know I could do it either. So, right. and it's kind of has evolved into 
uh, just something bigger than mm -hmm. I ever would have thought, you know. Well, you have a gift. You're very, very Yes, I, I, I believe that it's definitely a, a something spiritual for me, you mm -hmm. know, uh, mm -hmm. in my art. And, uh, and it's definitely a gift. I mm -hmm. believe God has given me with my art. Yes. And, um, and thankfully, we can all see this gift that you've been given come you. to life in these homes. Do you have a favorite home, Ronnie? Um, you know, I, this one here I really like because mm -hmm. it's the, the wood that's in this piece here. Mm -hmm. It came from uh, the Albury House on Southern Street. Okay. And uh, that came from the shutters that was on the widow's walk up top. And the wood, the patina that's on the wood is just so, I don't know, it's just something that I really like, the coloration of the wood. Mm -hmm. um, it's but uh, that, that's one of the things that's I like about this favorites. piece here. You know, it's, it's mm -hmm. the wood that's in, into it. But, uh, mm -hmm. I, you know, I enjoy all of them. All of them. How many uh, have you created all together, Ronnie? Um, I'm doing the uh, Grinnell Street Fire Station right now, and mm -hmm. I believe that's uh, number 46. 46. So wow. in six years, I made 46 pieces. So mm -hmm. uh, that'll give you an idea how much time. It takes a lot of time to make these. Mm -hmm. if, right. I, if I do a dozen pieces in a year, um, I've had a good year, mm -hmm. but it really doesn't amount to any real money. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thank goodness I have a wife that has a good job. <laughs> Just kidding, Mom. <laughs> okay, you can scratch that one. <laughs> All right, Ronnie. So, if people want to purchase these homes of their own, they can, Ronnie, right? Yes, they can. Mm -hmm. They can just contact you. They can yep. check out your website, too, I know. Yep. Well, I was in a gallery for two years when I first started doing my art. Mm -hmm. And um, after uh, two years, and the gallery really helped give me a good uh, start on my art. Mm -hmm. And after two years, I, uh, I uh, wanted to uh, go on my own and do art shows, and uh, that's what I've been doing, art shows uh, here in South Florida and also downtown in January and in February, the last weekend, I do the uh, festivals down there, so people can come down there and see me there, or they can contact me at uh, a phone number. Mm -hmm. Which our viewers can see on the bottom of the screen right okay. now. Ronnie, thank you so much for being on, and thank well, you for pleasure. creating what you do. It thank you very much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.